Guys, we have this question right here. It's asking determine the components of reaction at the fixed support A. Neglect the thickness of the B. And so what are they asking is find the find the component determine the components of reaction. Components of the reaction, right? So first of all, I would like to draw a free body diagram right here. It's gonna be like this. And this is 60 60 degree this is 3 meter and here we have three forces acting on it this is all of them are 200 and here we have a 400 newton acting on here and this is 30 degree right and that's all the information we have and let's see so if all of them are pulling this one down the reaction is going up and it's pulling this side up so the reaction is opposite side yeah so let's say this is a y this is a x so we have to find these components first of all i i would like to take the x components let's do that so sigma fx in statics uh, total force is zero so we have ax in the opposite direction x direction let's say this uh, this is positive direction right uh, this is opposite so we can say this is negative ax and what are the horizontal component forces this is a we can take a horizontal component force here it's going to be uh, it's going this side so it's plus 400 cos 30 right Four, 400 cos 30 so if I solve for ax this is equal to 0 so if I solve for ax it comes out to be it comes out to be 346.41 346.41 point four one newton and then we can solve for y components let's say sigma fy is equal to zero if i take uh, upward positive first we have a y right here it's up it's going upward so it's positive and we have three for acting downside therefore it's going to be 200 negative 200 times three mm, minus this one this is also acting downwards it's 400 sine 30 right minus 400 sine 30 so 400 sine 30 is 200 negative 200 and this is negative so therefore negative 200 and 600 negative 200 negative 600 it comes out to be negative 800 so a b a y is equal to negative 800 and since we have this information we can find the moment around here this is going to act counterclockwise you may ask why because if you see all of them all of the forces are pulling this one clockwise if you see this tree are pulling down this is pulling clockwise therefore the reaction is going to be acting opposite side therefore this is uh, the moment is on counterclockwise so if I take the total moment around here it's gonna be total moment I take uh, counterclockwise clockwise positive so if I take counterclockwise positive total moment is zero so if I solve for it it's gonna be uh, moment A is going to be positive because it's counterclockwise and we have this 200 that then we have the information here it's uh, all of them are one meter distance to each other this is starting from one meter and one meter one meter right so first for the first force it's going to be this is minus because it's this is acting clockwise therefore it's minus and this is 200 newton 200 newton I have to multiply by its distance the distance is going to be here the horizontal distance is 3 cos 60 right 3 cos 60 cos
cos 60 plus 1 meter so it's going to be 3 cos 60 plus 1 and then minus 3 cos 3 200 times 3 cos 60 plus 2 and the last one minus uh, 200 3 cos 60 plus 3 and we have uh, here one more thing here but it has two components vertical and horizontal since uh, this is not from the this is like we have to add both of them because both of them have movement so the for, uh, let's do the vertical component first if I do vertical components it's going to be 400 sine 30 minus 400 sine 30 and it's pulling clockwise it's therefore it's minus 400 sine 30 sin 30 and the distance is going to be same as this 200 because it's same distance if you see the picture you see uh, it's same distance so if you mu multiply by 3 equals 60 plus 3 and then we have the uh, horizontal component it's also pulling this object uh, clockwise therefore it's also negative negative this is going to be 400 400 cos 30 so when we say when we take horizontal component we have to take the distance that is perpendicular to this so if i take horizontal the vertical distance is going to be the my perpendicular distance so therefore i have to cal calculate this is the only vertical distance right three uh, in this picture this is the vertical distance so it's going to be 3 sine 60 so I have to multiply this one by 3 sine 60 and we have bunch of numbers right here but if you if you solve all of these you will this is all of them are equal to 0 so if you solve all of this you will end up with 3900 Newton meter so this is acting uh, counterclockwise so it's positive so you don't have to solve that so this is how we solve this question we have found ax ay it's not minus it's plus right it's plus uh, ay and ma So this is my final answer, I hope you guys like this video, see you next time.